Hello guys, so today I'll be painting a uh, Dodge Ram diesel truck and uh, this is how I'm going to do it. So this is the paint I have mixed, it's in the bottle. Um, first things first, I grab my paint gun and the way I store my gun is I have a little bit of gun wash cleaner in here um, just to make sure all the gunk doesn't stick inside. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, drain it. Cap the spray gun and away we go. Always use a mask before you spray. Okay, so here I'm adjusting my spraying pressure to 20 psi with the trigger depressed. And then I'm having my fluid tip needle wound right out and my fan pattern to be fully open with one turn in. And I'm spraying with an Anis Diwata LPH 400 LV. Okay, so this rear door was replaced with an OEM brand new door. It's already been jammed, and this is it sanded, uh, bolted back onto the vehicle. And we'll be blending to the front door here. And the reason I don't like to paint my doors separately off the vehicle is because I like to blend like to the rear cab and uh, to the front door, say, uh, just so the paint seems seamless. Uh, the blend turns out better and the orange peel matches exactly how I want it across the whole side of the vehicle. Because I know some guys like to mask the vehicle off and paint the new part or the new door, say, uh, off the vehicle and just kind of blend it out their way. Uh, this is just my way of doing it. I like to jam it inside, put it on the vehicle, and paint the whole thing together. So this is how it looks after the first coat after five minutes of flash dry time. And uh, the, like I said, this first layer was with the uh, clear hardener that I applied to the base. Uh, now the second coat will be without the hardener. Okay, so now I'm applying the second coat. The way you want to apply it is uh, medium wet and nice and even.
Okay, so this is after about five to ten minutes of flash drying time. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, tack cloth the whole thing. Okay, so this will be my final coverage coat, as well as the uh, blending coat. You'll see me blending over to the door more liberally, uh, the front door, and uh, yeah, just kind of final coat, uh, blending it all together, making it seamless. Okay, so this is how it looks like with just the base, with just uh, paint without the clear. It looks flat, but there is complete coverage. You don't see any scratches, you don't see any dark. This is the blending area. This is where I blended, because this is a brand new replaced door, and this is just the blending door. So um, I'm blending to this door. You can see right around here, this is where the uh, paint stops. And this is the original clear right here. So, this is after tack clothing. And uh, yeah, so it's ready for clear now. All right, so now that I uh, have tack cloth and everything's ready for clear, um, we're gonna mix the, we're gonna mix the clear. Same thing, I'm just grabbing a different gun. This one's a Anastai Water Supernova. Uh, I really like how this one sprays clear. So this is the gun that I use. Link is in the description. As well as for this gun, this is the Anastai Water LPH 400. I like how that sprays, it's the LV. Um, but yeah, anyway. So same thing, attaching the uh, air filter and the air regulator here. Grab a new cone filter. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, start mixing the clear. Every brand of clear has its own way of mixing it and the instructions are on the bottle. So read yours. I'm using the General Genrock. I really like this clear. It's a, it's a Euro clear. It's a high solid, so it's really hard and it's really shiny and really durable. Uh, but yeah, this specific brand requires me to mix two to one, so two parts of the clear and then one part uh, activator or hardener, whatever you call it. And what I like to do is I like to use a high quality um, Transtar branded uh, reducer. I put 10% reducer into my clear. What this does is it makes the clear layout better so there is less orange peel, but it makes it thinner so it's runs, uh, it's easier to make runs with it. Um, you don't have to add the reducer, but I do. 10% is like really it's really a little bit, just a few drops really in a cup like this, so it's not necessary but I do it, just lays the clear out a little flatter, looks more like a factory finish. And I apply two coats of clear all the time, that's the standard, 15 minutes be uh, between each coat to flash. Mix it really well, load it up. We're ready to spray the clear. Clear is sprayed a little differently than base coat. You don't 
you don't feather it or dust it on or any effect coat. It's just a nice, even, flat, heavy coat of clear. So it looks like a glass surface um, and covers everything. So once again, just adjusting the pressure and the spring pattern. Okay, so here I'm going to be blending on this uh, rear uh, cab pillar here. I'm masking uh, the body line. I had it uh, like a soft mask. So now I will uh, put some HR50 blending solvent there in that area. Blend the OEM clear coat with the new one that I just applied. So then after the uh, paint cures, you can just polish that area by hand and it'll be good to go. So here's a look at the finished product. It actually turned out pretty great in my opinion. Uh, matched the factory orange peel pretty well with the clear. Can't see any blending spots or any uh, repair areas. I know that uh, turned out pretty well in my opinion. Thanks for watching this video, I hope it helped.